Hey guys, it's Mariah and today I'll be showing you how to make your own gummy candy or fruit snacks at home. This is a super simple two ingredient recipe which you can make for your kids, for their lunch boxes, for parties, anything really. It's super healthy, all natural and it can be vegan. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. You will need one cup of fresh fruit juice it can be squeezed, store bought, it's really your choice. Also, three tablespoons of unflavored gelatin, or if you're vegan, agar agar or veggie gel, which is a plant-based gelatin. These are optional. You can use honey as a natural sweetener if your juice is sour, or vitamin C or citric acid for a sour kick. And you'll need silicone molds or ice cube trays or anything to form shapes for your gummies. Let's get started. So before I start, I want to show you the molds I'll be using. These emoji molds look super cute, but the thing is they have small indents, which won't go very well with our gummies. So if you're using a mold like mine, try skipping it and using a mold with deeper indents like this animal one, because deeper indents tend to show more. Also, these hearts are super elegant for maybe parties or something, but yeah. This is the juice I'll be using. It's strawberry juice, which also happens to be vegan. Although you can make your own, so you know that it's super healthy. And here's my gelatin powder. Again, you can use agar agar powder or flakes or veggie gel. I'm going to start by measuring out a cup of my fruit juice. I'm pouring that into my saucepan. But before I put that on the stove, I'm going to sprinkle in 3 tablespoons of gelatin. If you prefer your gummies to be harder, like the store-bought ones, go ahead and add another tablespoon. Mine turned out quite jelly-like almost, so go ahead and add another tablespoon. So you just want to let that sit for around 3-5 to five minutes until most of it has sunken in. And after it has done that, we are going to transfer it to our stove on low to medium heat and mix it up until all the gelatin crystals have been dissolved into our liquid and you end up with sort of a syrupy looking consistency. Also make sure that it is warm and not boiling. As you can see we have some bubbles going on so you can either skim off the top with a spoon or you can pour them in your molds and skim them off which is actually easier if you pour them into your molds and skim them off but more time consuming so you choose. Then I'm going to transfer my silicone molds onto this tray for easier transportation. Now all you have to do is pour in your warm syrup. You don't need to let it cool otherwise it might set so just pour it in it's not going to damage your molds. And once you pour that in, put those bad boys straight into the fridge for around 45 minutes to an hour. Then they're ready to be popped out. If you have smaller molds like the emoji ones I'm using, be careful with those because they will break. And you can make like a cute little intricate plating design like I did with the hearts. You can package them or do whatever you want and give them to your friends or family. Make sure you store them in the fridge because it is gelatin and it can melt in a hot room. And as you can see, the emoji ones do have some small designs and they show when I reflect them in light. But the deeper indents like these animal ones are so much better. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful if you did Hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me what is your favorite gummy flavor. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.